Hey, this is Daniel Grove, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a bunch of free procedural and PBR materials from Blender.org that are really good. They were used in the recent film Charge that was made with Blender. Um, I'm also going to show you how to add assets into your already existing asset library system, and that is very useful when you download products such as my own from Blender Market, where you already have an existing library system in the asset browser that you want to add stuff to and keep the organization intact that was made by the maker of that asset. So first, let's download the file here. I'll put the link for this down below. So click on download. Now, I've downloaded this to my C drive, but I put everything for Blender on my H drive. So I'm going to move this actual folder. This is inside the zip folder. I'm going to move this folder right here to where I need to be for Blender to see it. Because in Blender settings, you have to tell it where each asset is for the asset browser to see it. And that's how the organization system works. So I'm going to press Control N on Windows to make a new Windows Explorer window. And then I'm going to press Windows right arrow, and that splits my screen. So I've got two windows left and right. On my right side, I'm going to go to my H drive my Blender folder, and I have a folder called Shaders where I put all kinds of procedural and texture-based stuff that I find online for free. So in this folder, this is very important, we have two Blender underscore asset files. One looks like this and one looks like this. They have the same extension, but for some reason, this one has a different icon and it's only a few hundred bytes, whereas this one is over a kilobyte. So this is the actual file that Blender looks at in order to see the organization. And if we open this by double clicking, it'll open up in Windows Notepad. And you can see here a bunch of hexadecimal stuff. And now we have some English words that notate the organization of that uh, asset library with all the individual catalogs that I've personally made myself. And inside of each is a bunch of different assets. But inside the charge asset library materials thing we downloaded, if we open the similar text document, see this one actually says text document instead of this little tilde file, which I think is like a, a backup or a temporary. I'm not really sure why there's two. Someone smarter than me comment down below, let me know. But if we open up this one, we can see this has the same setup. But look, these are the charge material library and this has um, the different uh, plastic, rubber, wood, metal, concrete. This is the organization that we want to keep. So all we have to do, and this applies to anything you download, such as my products, of course, which you, I highly advise you go buy and, and download. They're really great. And they're nicely organized too. So grab the text of your new um, thing you want to keep organized and just control C to copy it. Close it. Now in the folder that it's going to, which is the one on the right, I'm going to open up that Blender asset text file. Now we're going to paste this in there and there we go. That's going to help Blender keep all this organization intact. So close and save. Yes. And now we actually have to move the files over. That's kind of important. So I'm going to move this whole folder into my shaders folder. So it's nice and organized. Now with Blender open, I'm going to split my screen in half, make the top view into the asset browser. And I'm going to go to my library for shaders. And inside of the library are all the catalogs that I've already made. And now here's the new one, Charge Material Library with all of the sub catalogs underneath with all these really nice quality uh, materials. Now, a little disclaimer, these are made for EV, which I believe means they should work fine in cycles, but I'm sure technically there are some differences and maybe how things are handled. If you do everything in EV, you're going to love this. I'm actually more of a cycles guy. So if things look weird, I might have to learn a few tricks to fix that. But these are made for EV and, and that's how the movie Charge was made, which is pretty awesome. So there you have it. That's how to import stuff into your asset library. Keep the organization intact by copying and pasting into that library cat's file.